Okay, so the command design pattern in Python. Now the command pattern is a behavioral design pattern in which an abstraction exists between an object that invokes a command and the object that performs it. Yeah, what does that mean? Well, over here on this other image, we have a client, which may be your application. And what it will do, rather than calling a command directly on the on the user interface, for example, they call I call it a receiver here. Um, you add an abstraction in the middle where you have an invoker, which calls a command, which implements a command interface, and then that is then executed on the receiver. And the receiver is uh, yeah, a presentation lab, if, if you like. And by putting that abstraction in the middle, it gives you a lot, a lot of options. For example, uh, recording macros, say several commands in a row, you might want to replay, or multi-level undo redo. This is an example of multi-level undo redo. For example, I use the command design pattern quite a lot in this application. For example, I might draw some walls in my little application. Okay, so there's some walls, and I'll do another couple of walls just for just for fun. And I can control Z and go backwards, and I can redo and do them all again and discover that I don't like that one. Press control Z, and I can continue on and do something like that. Oh, that's the floor. Once again, all those things can be undone or replayed as I just use undo redo. And that is possible because I've used the, because I've implemented a command design pattern. Uh, a few other things, networking. You can send a whole bunch of commands, even as a batch. Parallel processing or thread pools. Transactional behavior. You may want to roll back a transaction and just design wizards. Excellent. So in this tutorial, I'll use, I'll put the command pattern in the context of a light switch. There's my app.py, which is Python, and there's a switch. And that is the invoker, which is called an invoker. And that will call a command, which implements the command, I command interface. And those commands, once executed, will switch a light on or off. Okay, so let's get coding. Let's create a file called, so which command.py. Okay, so the things I'll need to consider when I'm developing this are a uh, client, uh, a, an, uh, an invoker, a command. Um, I'll have two commands. They will implement the I command command interface. And the receiver. Okay, so this is a client, an invoker, the uh, commands which implement the I command interface, and the receiver. So, and in the context of the light switch, app.py is the client, switch is the invoker, the commands are switch on and switch off, and the receiver is the light. First thing I'll do is from ABC import ABC meta and abstract static method okay so there's receiver command command one so it should be on and that one will be off and the invoker i'll do the command interface first class i command uh, implements meta class abc meta this helps me to enforce the interface rules and in here I have one uh, method called execute. Uh, and I'll need to give it the uh, abstract static method decorator. Okay. The next thing is we'll do is we'll create a receiver. Do that up the top here. So and the receiver will be a light. 
and in there will be two methods switch we switch on self and I will just print the light is on and another one define switch off self um self self print the light is off and just for consistency that's the receiver and the invoker is going to call those commands okay so let's create some commands now just reformat command on so class switch on command and it implements i command define in it self light self dot light equals light and then we will also have an execute define execute because of the i command interface execute self self dot light dot turn so dot switch switch on excellent and now we'll do the other the other one which is the switch off command so let's just do that nice and quick light light self switch off okay with a Right, let's uh, just just for consistency and then format there we go invoker and client next one uh, is the invoker um, I just add that uh, just add a uh, a static interface method so that I can uh, get that comment down there. All right, invoker, class, switch. Okay, this, this is the invoker class. All right, invoker, and in here I'll have an init, define init which I'll pass in a just a self and I'll initialize um, a commands dictionary I will uh, uh, define a register a register method of self command name and command which uh, when you add a when you register a command it will add it to the commands dictionary so self self dot commands command name equals command and we need to implement the required execute execute method which is self and command name okay so self dot commands command name dot execute and we'll do a simple check if command name in self dot commands else print command not found excellent okay that's the switch now our client which is just the uh 
if name equals main. This is my client. You could have a class if you wanted or a module. I'm going to create a light. Light equals, sorry, L-I-G-H-T equals light. One of those, the which on equals a switch on on command and a switch 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 off equals switch off command radio let's just get that right okay so there's two commands here we've just created uh, and i need to pass in the light obviously well, like ght there's the, another light so the switch on command and switch off command they uh both assign a light the um, next thing now is to create a an invoker so the light was a uh, was the receiver these are the commands okay so that's the receiver these are commands now we need an invoker uh, the Invoker, so that's going to be switch switch equals switch up here. Now we need to register the commands. Register commands in the Invoker. So switch dot register. The command name will be on, and the command will be the switch switch on though just credit up there the switch dot register off and switch off that did just up there now we should be able to just call those things so let's just try switch switch dot execute on and switch dot execute off uh, there we go let's uh, try that out and see what errors I have python command switch command dot pi light is on light is off okay that was pretty good that is coding coding a uh, an example uh, command design pattern for a, for a light switch so okay so there was a client an invoker the evoker calls or registers commands and executes them and the commands implement the i command interface and the commands then get executed on the receiver like so and within context of this tutorial there's app.py which is my python file i created a switch which is the invoker there's the command switch on switch off and there's the receiver and that's the light the light's the receiver now just for a, a little bit of fun i'm going to add history to to that so we can see how many times the light was switched on and off and we will may be able to analyze analyze that kind of thing so first off i'm going to go down to my invoker and register another another property here sort of called history equals uh just a list so every time now a command is executed i will add that to the history self dot history dot append command name this will enable me to replay from the history if i wanted to or in the future implement undo redo now i want to be able to print that history out so i'm just going to create a method for retrieving that history property 
Andy. Define his story. Return self dot his story. Okay, so down here we'll just print it out. Print. Uh, print switch dot history. Let's just see what happens when I print that out. Let's run that. History takes zero position of what one was given. All right, so I need to put self in there. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to recall the time while I'm here as well. So from, well, import time. And uh, so when I um, append the history, I'll add the time as well. Time dot time. There we go. Let's just try that out now. There we go. So the light was switched on and it was switched off. So let's just flick that light switch on a few more times there. Okay, and let's print that out. There we go. Light is on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, and there are the times that it was switched on and off. That was the command pattern in Python. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and share.